So I was asked the question, what have I learned in these last few years since I wrote Strategic Planning for Love and War with my then guy? That is a big question. I have learned so much. Number one, I didn't marry him. So I learned not to be crazy and stupid and end up with somebody who treated me horribly. How about that? Number two, I learned to stand on my own two feet and in my faith as opposed to relying on somebody else to validate me. Um, I think it's important to realize that you can love somebody and somebody can even love you, but that doesn't mean you're supposed to be with them. And that's what that project was all about is helping men and women to see themselves and love themselves and then hopefully love someone else. Being able to either um, stay in the relationship and make it better find a relationship or leave a relationship because it's truly not working, but to really think about relationships strategically and what they mean and what they come with, because everybody, especially once you reach a certain age has a certain amount of baggage. Uh, something else I learned uh, was to ask more questions and to uh, try to get to know a person for who they really are and who they're not. Um, and this is interesting because since that time I got married and now I'm not married again. I had a very, very short marriage. Um, the person I did marry, I've known him for many, many, many years and his reputation preceded him. I knew who he was back then and I thought he had changed. And in some ways he had because he was very kind to me, very generous to me. Um, my little niece even, uh, saw him. And uh, saw him opening the door for me and doing this and that and said, oh, he's like a prince. And I started cracking up and so did he. And so he learned how to behave that way um, with me. But ultimately, he wasn't my prince. And I think some things happened before we actually got married um, that I should have just paid more attention to. And maybe we wouldn't have done it. So what I can say is. I've learned more about myself, what's important to me, what I really need and what I really deserve and not to settle for less. It's not easy, but sometimes it takes a lot of pain and um, a lot of perseverance to get to the heart of it. Finally, I'm really proud of the book Strategic Le Planning for Love and War because the people who did read it really found some great information and some things to think about. And I guess I'm a little sad that more people didn't read it, but I'm also glad that maybe it wasn't time because had I or we had success with that book when it came out, we probably would have ended up together. And then I wouldn't have even been in my right mind enough to record these things and to stand for people for help and for hope because I was not in the best position after we acted out the drama of the whole book. So here we are. Um, first of all, I love God first. I love myself. I love my family. And one day I'm sure I'll have another husband and I'll love him too. But no time soon. This is Jolena Johnson. What do you think? <laughs>